happened right here? <laughs> Your hand stuck? <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay. Hello, everyone. Look who I have helping me today. I have a big helper. Good. Are you going to be a big brother? <laughs> I thought it would be fun to have Winston on today. We are going to do a little baby clothing haul, a more of a gender neutral clothing haul because I didn't think we were going to find out what the baby is. We did find out. But the other day we were showing Casey on FaceTime because he is out of town. We were showing him the new clothes that we had gotten and Winston was going through and showing him every little outfit. And so I thought it would be fun if he did that for you guys and it would make this clothing haul a little more fun. What do you think? Yeah. yeah? He is really tired. He's ready for a nap. But he is going to help us out today. What did we get to see this week? We got to see the baby. Yeah. That is our biggest update is we got our big ultrasound. The baby looked great. Everything was measuring correct and everything looked really, really good. So we are so happy. It was just so fun to see the baby and something else that I really, really loved and I was excited for but loved even more than I could have ever imagined was watching my kids' reactions to seeing the baby. Winston was asleep because it was really early, but he was he kept saying baby and pointing and he was really interested in watching and seeing what was happening. Braylee, I think, remembered from Winston and she was happy and we just love seeing the baby, but Gage's reaction was probably my favorite. He was just amazed. He kept saying, that is a human being in there. And I just recognized that like feeling of like really realizing like, that is a baby. Like, Mom's belly is getting bigger, but that's actually a baby. And to see it up on, you know, they've had a big TV and you could see the baby up there. Gage was just honestly so amazed. And it was so fun to just listen to them, make fun little comments and talk about the baby. And we did find out the gender. I really did think that I could convince my family that we shouldn't. But everyone really, really wanted to. I, had, I felt good about finding out because everyone else wanted to. And I didn't think that it was fair that I was the only one that didn't. And I am happy. I have had a lot of people ask me if I'm sad, and I am a little bit sad. I think that that day, the day that the baby was born, would have been so magical and amazing, and it would have been really fun to have that surprise because we never have before. But I'm also very, very happy and excited and ready to start planning for our baby girl. We're That's having a baby funny. sister. That's what did you find? Funny. Mommy's chopstick? Funny. Yeah. <laughs> We are all really, really excited. I can't wait to see Braylee with a little sister. I know that that is something that she really, really wanted. And then to see my boys with a baby sister, I think is going to be so amazing and just the best. Like I said, I would have been equally as happy to have another boy. I've had so much fun with my boys, but I've also had so much fun with Braylee. And it just seems so exciting to have a girl, to be having a girl again, because it's been such a long time. As far as any other updates, I am just feeling really, really big already, which is different from my other pregnancies. I didn't usually feel like this big and uncomfortable until a little farther along. And I have mentioned that I've gained a lot of weight really quickly, and I think that that is part of it. So right now I'm really trying to uh, watch what I eat and eat healthy and just like, fuel my body instead of giving into cravings because I really have been indulging and just eating whatever sounded good and I am just like not feeling good so okay Winston has run off to play he might come back he might not who knows hopefully he'll come back to help with the clothing haul but he is a little sleepy today so we'll see that's why I decided to film in here because I knew that he would be running in and out and back and forth so hopefully he'll sneak back in here anyways other updates I'm still feeling really really good I think I did catch a little bug and have been a little bit sick the past few days but I don't think that it has anything to do with my pregnancy so I'm still very very grateful to be feeling better it is the best feeling and I'm grateful every single morning that I wake up and I'm feeling good because I know that it is such a blessing and I am so so grateful for this um, hoping and keeping my fingers crossed that I don't get it again because a lot of women will get morning sickness again in the third, third trimester. Another thing that has pretty much gone away is heartburn, which is really surprising because usually the bigger your belly gets, the more heartburn you get. And that hasn't been bad at all. So another thing that I'm very, very grateful for. Um, I'm still very forgetful. I forget things constantly. I'll be having a conversation and my mind will just go blank. So that has been a little frustrating, especially just trying to 
like get things ready for Christmas or get videos ready and I just forget and I procrastinate and I'm really tired still. So those are some of the negative things which I mean, sounds silly to complain about because that is just kind of part of it and that is just kind of part of my personality anyway. So I can't blame it all on pregnancy, although I will because I can right now. So I definitely will. I've gotten a lot of questions about how the kids are feeling about having a baby and having a baby sister. They're really, really happy. I know Gage has kind of said both. Like he wished that he was going to have another brother. At the beginning, he said that he thought it would be really fun to have a baby sister. I think it's just kind of all really hitting him. It's been really fun to watch him because I think that he's just really realizing like, holy cow, we're having another baby. Like he's just at that age that everything is like, he's thinking about things on a deeper level. So it's been a lot of fun and he is really excited. I just can't wait to see him with a baby sister. He's such a caring amazing little boy and I just think that he will protect her and love her and treat her like a little princess and so I'm really excited about that. Braylee is absolutely thrilled. She has mentioned that she wishes that they were a little closer in age and I, I do too. I wish that they were going to be closer but I also told her it's going to be so fun when she's older and she can take her little baby sister with her everywhere and have sleepovers and I think that she'll just be in heaven. She already has said that she wants to share a room with her and you know they just I just think that they'll be close I'm older in age than my little sister Markel and we are very very close so I know that they will be close and I just think that they'll have a very special relationship um, Winston I don't think he really understands what's happening exactly I think that he's starting to catch on to the fact that we are having a baby I've been watching like my pregnancy vlogs with Winston and his birth vlog to show like mommy had you in her belly and then you came out and you were a baby and so I think he's kind of starting to catch on but he doesn't know that we're having a baby sister Hi. and that all of that is going on. Did you find a book? Mm -hmm. Okay come sit by me and read it. Hi. You look at it. Mommy will read it in just a minute. You look at it and then mommy will read it. Winston is wild and so a lot of people have said are you nervous about how wild Winston is? Is he going to be wild with the baby? And I absolutely have no idea. I don't know what it's going to be like. Because with Braylee, Braylee was a little rough with um, Gage a couple of times, but nothing that was like too crazy. And they were my closest. By the time I had Winston, Gage was older. And so he was very soft with him and knew, knew that he needed to be soft with the baby. So I am so excited to see Winston with the baby. I think it's going to be fun. I'll just be sure to watch them very, very close. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but I do want to do a video with each of my kids in the upcoming update videos. Um, just so that you can ask any questions to them individually. They can talk about how they feel. And I just think it will be a really special video to make. We did do a Q&A on Casey LeVere. If you want to um, see some of the questions that we answered that you guys asked. It was a lot of fun. And I hope that we do a couple more of those before the baby gets here. Um, I've also had a lot of people ask if we are going to do a name reveal. And I do think that I will do a name reveal if we decide on a name. If not, I think that it would be fun to have all of us put the names that we like on a board and then we could cross them off if we decide that we don't want this name or we do want this name and then we can see what names are left. Um, with my other two, with Braylee and Gage, I didn't have their names picked out. I actually took a list of names to the hospital. Winston was the only one that we had a name for. Huh. And that was a lot of fun. I didn't want to reveal the name when I was pregnant with him because I told a few people that we were naming him Winston and got kind of weird reactions. So that is part of the reason that I wouldn't do a name reveal, but I just feel like after my experience with Winston, I don't care. I didn't care what people thought because we love the name. So we will do a name reveal again on the Q&A that we did on Casey Lovier. We did talk about a few of the names that we did like. So if you want to see any of those, be sure to check that out. I will leave a link down below. Are you ready to show some clothes? Should we show some of these baby clothes? Okay, so I got a few gender neutral baby clothing items. Um, most of these I got from Kohl's, I believe, if not all of them. Maybe all of them, but most of these items you can find because yeah, I think that they're like Carter's and different brands that you can find pretty much anywhere. So we got this little sleeper. This is actually one that I got at the store and I thought it was so cute because it has, has little bears and little bunnies. Can you see the bunnies? and stars and clouds and kites and music notes and I just thought that this would be adorable for a boy or a girl. 
I also love the color. I like cream a little bit better than gray for a gender neutral outfit. And then another thing that I love so much is this little set that I got. When this got here, I was like just dying over how tiny this is. It's just so crazy how quickly you forget how tiny they are when they're born. So this is a newborn size, and it's just tiny, and it says, I'm so happy. And it comes with these cute, soft little pants, the little bear on the bum, and then this cute little hoodie, this cute little jacket, and it also has little bear ears. So this obviously won't fit her for a long period of time unless she's really, really tiny. But I just love this little outfit. It's so soft and cozy and I just can't wait to cuddle her up in that. I also got this little pajama set, these little like onesie outfits. And they just have little sheep on them and little clouds. Super, super cute. And then this one says, hello, I'm new here. He's so cute. And the other little onesie I have in here is my onesie that I bought when I found out I was pregnant to announce to Carly and Colette. So this one says friends and Carly says best so they can wear them when they're little tiny newborn babies. It will be so fun to see them together. I did order one little baby girl outfit. I did have a little feeling deep down inside that we were having a girl and I just kind of kept ignoring that because I kept dreaming that I was having a boy and I knew that either way I would be so so happy so that was always on my mind. I, kept thinking that I was having a girl, but I kept just kind of pushing that away. And then I was ordering these clothes and saw this little outfit and thought, I'm gonna buy this just in case. And then if I have a boy, I can just give it to someone who's having a girl. So I will show that in just a minute. And um, these are so adorable. That's for the baby, it won't fit you. It's for the baby. For the little baby sister. It's for you. Is that so cute? I loved this print and I thought it was perfect. Love these colors for a boy and a girl from the brand Bakmi. Look at this elephant. Is that cute? Can you hold that? Oh, that would be so cute on you. <laughs> these are little outfits that I absolutely love and I was really happy because I got them on sale. So they were super inexpensive. They're so soft. <laughs> So soft I thought it would be really cute for a coming home outfit and I got one in cream and it's just like a sweater material so so soft and then I got one in gray these are by the brand cuddle duds I love them both I think that they would be perfect for a little boy or a little girl I bought a couple of little headbands and I think that they will be cute just to put her in this and then a little headband or not I just love these they're so soft and oh Every time I like touch these, I just imagine my little baby in there. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, another little set that I ordered was a Burt's Bees set. And it comes with so many things. It comes with a onesie, and it just has a little Burt's Bees logo. It has this little onesie with a bunch of little bees. It has this cute little blankie. We're excited about this, huh? Yeah, it's so cute. And then it has this little shirt. I like these because they snap and it's long sleeved. I think that they're perfect for a brand new little baby. And then it came also with some little pants. So these will go with all of that. It also comes with two bibs and a blankie. And I think that this blankie is so cute. So I thought that this was so perfect for a gender neutral set because it will work perfectly for a boy and a girl. You want this leggy on you? Okay. There you go. There you go. And I got one other blankie. And when I picked this out, I thought it was really perfect for a gender neutral blanket. And this is from the brand Trend Lab. This blanket is so soft. I love it. And I just think it's so adorable. It just has a bunch of different animals on there. I love the size. It's really big, so you can swaddle your baby up. It will grow with your baby, and I just think it's adorable. I love this blanket. So the last thing that I'm going to show you is the little girl outfit that I did order, and this is from Carter's. It's so precious. I just love floral prints, and I just thought it was so pretty and girly, and 
I just loved it, so I knew I had to get it. This says pretty and perfect in gold, and then it's just it's such a pretty little onesie. I love the little detail. So, so pretty. And then soft pink little pants, and I love this jacket. This is the main reason that I bought it, just because I loved this print on this little jacket. And it's very light, so hopefully she can wear it during the summer. I think I got this in the size zero to three months, yeah. That is it for our gender neutral clothing haul. I didn't buy a ton of different outfits because I knew once the baby got here that I would order some clothes for either a boy or a girl. So I just got a few little items, things that I knew that I needed um, to have right when the baby got here. I also would have ordered more like just white onesies. My favorite thing to put my babies in at night are the long sleeve white onesies from Carter's. I think they're perfect. And so that is something that I will definitely be ordering. I have ordered a few little baby girl outfits, so I will be sure to do another clothing haul once I get those. I am so excited. I can't thank you all enough for watching our videos and being a part of this journey. Bye. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. I forgot to do a little bump shot. My bump has definitely grown a lot the past few weeks. So there it is from the side and from the front definitely noticeable. I seriously feel like every morning I wake up and it just seems so much bigger. The baby's growing so fast right now. Where's mommy's baby? Right there. And there it is. Right there. So there's the baby. <laughs> um, also, I found some maternity pants that I love. They're these ones. I got them in two different colors and they are from Topshop. They're so comfy and when I put them on, I was just like, Thank you, I love them so much. I think that this style that I got was Lee, I believe, um, but definitely check them out if you are looking for some and can't find them. These are so comfy. The band is really comfy too.